Hi, my name is Danielle. This is Danny Element Tarot. This message is for April, I mean for Aries, April 2022. And uh, let's get right to the reading, shall we? All right. You have the nine of swords reversed, nine of swords, or eight, eight of swords, sorry. Gemini energy, funeral related. Maybe you're going to a funeral, either a funeral or like a hospital, some kind of like someone's medically not okay right now. And I don't think it's you, but you're going to like visit this person or it could, could be like a funeral that you're going to. King of Pentacles. So I don't think this person, the King of Pentacles is the person that you're going to visit or the person who passed because it, the King of Pentacles is a very like virile energy. Like that's someone who's like alive and well. So this might be someone you meet when you go to visit this other person or at the funeral. Page of Swords. Okay. So this is someone you meet, but you either know who they are or they know who you are from social media. So like, say this is a funeral and you both know the same person, like they've seen you on Instagram or whatever, or like, you know, you have mutual friends. So you either know who they are or they know who you are. Uh, and so I think they know who you are and they purposely take the time to go like approach you. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I definitely think they approach you and I want to say that they're peacocking. They're peacock, they're hitting on you, they're peacocking at a funeral. I think it's still at a funeral. Let's I I think I think we're still just still on this same like in the beginning of the month, you go either to like the hospital or it's it's kind of an inappropriate situation for them to be acting like this, whatever it is. Are all right. Yeah. Three of Swords. Yes, we're still in this energy. We're still in this, like, there is some kind of, like, devastating thing happening around you. And this King of Pentacles comes in and, like, starts flirting with you, telling you, I mean, like, I definitely feel as though they're well fin uh, financially. If you're visiting someone in the hospital, this could be, like, you know, the surgeon or something like that. And not only that, but they're telling you, like, oh, I donate to this charity. I don't, they're, they're being kind of arrogant about the situation and they're coming on really strong knight of swords yeah they're coming on strong they're coming on strong and you're definitely a little like creeped out by the whole situation i don't know but you might you might like entertain this though especially if this is like a doctor or something that's dealing with your relative you, you might entertain it but i definitely think you're just it's just like you have a creepy vibe three of pentacles reversed I believe you're going to continue to like placate them. And as it continues, you just get more and more bored with the situation. Like it goes from being like creeped out to just like annoyed and bored. Like they might even get your number and they're just like texting you the most inane shit all day. Five of cups reversed. Yeah, and eventually I think you just gotta like, you gotta shut it down. Like you were trying to play nice, but you're just like, this person creeps you out. You even, I feel as though you're not quite, you're not really physically attracted to them at all. There's something about them, like maybe like they don't smell right. Like there's some like hygiene issue or something. Something about them, not only like their attitude, but like physically something about them just like grosses you out. And you just like, you get to a point where you're, you just, you shut it down. You're like, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be polite, especially like if, if you're a woman, like women in general, we have a tendency to like, just like be polite and not like tell people to just tell creeps to get lost, but you do eventually here, you do, you just don't get lost. And you're like, well, fuck it, whatever happens, happens. Oh, you feel so much better. You feel so much better, nine of pentacles. You're totally like relieved, like once you're like done, good. Yeah. Okay, now we have 10 of cups. So I think there was reluctancy to cut it off with this person 
because they might have been in a position of power, like say if they were a doctor or just if they knew people you knew. But despite all those apprehensions, you cut it off anyway. You felt so much better and it, it all like was fine. Like nobody, nobody, everything was fine. Nobody was mad at you. It was fine. And you feel so much better. I think you even like learned a lesson. So like next time to just like shut that shit down way sooner. Queen of Wands. All right. So I think as a result of this, it kind of like, once like some time has passed, you're like, I can't believe that I even let that happen. Like, it's almost like you've been so lonely that this person gave you attention and you sort of like just went with it because you didn't know what else to do and you didn't want to be rude. And once you cut that off, you feel like, how was I in this, like, such a, I don't want to say, like, low, like, in that energy where I could allow this to happen. So now, once you feel better, you kind of, like, you get back, you want to get back out there and, like, go be social. I don't even say you want to, like, go date people. You just want to be go be social. I definitely feel it, especially, like, with the weather getting warmer and stuff, like, you're going, you're, like, you're going to go do, like, a mud run or something or a color run. You're going to go do some physical activity or you're going to go kayaking or some shit. I don't know. Queen of Wands. King of Swords. Yes. Okay, so I feel that once you do that, you meet somebody else. It's funny, like, we got the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, king of swords and i don't know if this is like going to be your long-term person because this isn't like a, a true match or whatever it's wands and swords but i definitely think you're way more physically attracted to this person so and that like just like sends you on a major high because you got out there and yeah yep look at that the world so this could be this could be like something here this could really be something this is just really skyrockets you like the beginning of the month I feel is going to be tricky. You have some kind of like law. There's someone with some medical issues. You're being followed around by this creep. And as soon as you put up some boundaries and hold them, it's like things just start taking off. Like it, it gives you this huge confidence boost. You start going out and doing stuff. You meet someone else like you're on top of the world. And the hermit reversed. Okay, yeah. And you're totally like... I, whatever was leading up to this, like if somebody did pass or in their hospital or whatever, you were really just like in, in your feelings about that for a long time. Like things were not going well in, I feel as though it was a family member, like things were not going well in that aspect. And then like towards the end of this month, that all starts to change. It all starts to change. You come out of your shell, you meet someone else, like you're feeling on top of the world. Like it's like finally relief. I just get this huge sense of relief. As soon as you you put some boundaries into place and like, boom, it all starts happening for you. It's like, you know, you, you do for yourself and the universe will do for you. You know, they'll double it. They'll double down. That's great. I feel like, I. Mm, let's see, should we keep going? The tower reverse. Okay. See, now I feel this is going back to whatever this medical situation was. I think there's going to be healing here, whether the person in your family starts to heal or if this person has passed, you are, this is really like the, the confidence boost and meaning to people, whatever, it's really going to help take you out of your shell and you're going to be in a much stronger place. That's the thing too, is when this first person came up to you, you like, you were in a very, they, you were in a vulner, vulnerable position. I don't know that they were necessarily definitely taking advantage of that but they knew it didn't hurt. Let's put it that way. Knight of Wands reversed. You might need to get away for a while. I think things are going good, but then there's gonna, like to take it to the next step, you like, when it's all said and done, like you wanna get away for a while, you wanna take a vacation. It's gonna be a real roller coaster month. And I think by the end of it, you feel as though you just need kind of a actual physical, um, just distancing yourself from kind of what's been going on. 
with your family and everything, but you did meet this new person, so maybe you're gonna go together. I feel as though you're, like normally Knight of Wands, I would say that that's someone like just like splitting on you, but I don't think that's the case here. I think that you're gonna go with someone, take a vacation and like get out of this stale energy, really like be able to start fresh in May. So that's awesome, all right? And I will uh, leave your comments below, let me know what's going on, and I'll see you next time, bye.